Lastly, when it comes to negotiating, Again, be sure that uh, you, you have carved out in advance the place where you're going to stand firm. Uh, you, you have to sometimes, you got to put your cards on the table, you know. Um, I often like to say there's a lot of similarities between sales and playing cards. A lot of times because it is, it's the hand you're dealt, the territory, the market that you get. It's not always going to be perfect. Some years that your planets align and you knock it out of the park. And others, you get dealt a raw deal and you're, you've got a quote unquote impossible quota. And you've just got to go out and start trying to hit moonshots with that total addressable market. But when it comes down to it, <clears throat> there in those final throws, make sure you've controlled everything you can and make sure that you've figured out, you know, what is going to be the last uh, ditch. And phone a friend. I've had situations in the final throws of deals where I've called a friend and I've bounced ideas off of it or I've called a leader. You know, raise your hand. If you don't ask for help in these types of situations, you're asking for trouble. Don't go down alone. Um, 